Pay no attention to the people behind me. Good afternoon. I want to start off by thanking PDS for allowing me to speak this year and hopefully inspire this amazing group. Um, I'd also like to thank PDS for their continuing effort to help save and revitalize independent pharmacy. The teams had finished their warm-up shots and were physically ready. The adrenaline was flowing and it was obvious from the player that the players were experiencing the excitement that goes along with the championship game. They headed back to the locker rooms and the coaches gave them that one last shot in the arm before the action began. This is it, fellas. It is now or never. Nobody remembers the best man at the wedding. Nobody remembers who came in second place. We win or lose it all tonight. The players responded. They were so charged up, they almost ripped the hinges off the doors as they headed back out for the game. When they got to the court, though, they stopped short. And in complete confusion that changed to frustration and then to anger, they pointed at the goals that had been removed. They angrily demanded to know how they're going to play without the goals because they knew that without the goals, they wouldn't know if they hit or missed, they wouldn't know how they stacked up against the competition, and they wouldn't know if they were on target or off. You wouldn't even play the game of basketball without the goals. Those goals are really important. You're sitting there thinking, Jeff, that's a silly example. Of course you wouldn't play basketball without goals. But what about you? Are you trying to win at business without goals? If you are, how are you doing? Are you hitting or missing? How do you stack up against your competition? Are you on target or off? What's your team doing? If they're simply dribbling the ball around the pharmacy day in and, and day out, is it any wonder that morale is low and results non-existent? So if goals are important, where do we start? First, you want to start with a mission, a mission that inspires. Have you heard of Pioneer RX? What's our product? Pharmacy management software, you say. How many of you have Pioneer X in your pharmacy today? If you ask one of them, hopefully with their Pioneer X pin on, I hope they would tell you that our product is so much more. Because several years ago, we made a decision that continues to drive our success. Because we decided that our product wasn't pharmacy management software. Our product was profitable pharmacies. Matter of fact, we went on to say that it was our goal to save and revitalize independent pharmacy. When you think that way, it's not enough to count sales. You have to measure results. Thinking that way changes the way that you think and act every single day. Pharmacy as a profession is at a crossroads. In one corner, we have the lowest cost per pill model, and in the other corner, we have pharmacy as a healthcare destination. If the lowest cost per pill model wins, you're not gonna be doing it, I'm not gonna be doing it. My guess is Walgreens and CVS aren't gonna be doing it. Amazon's gonna do it, and they're gonna deliver it with a drone. But if the pharmacy as a healthcare destination model wins, it's already been shown that you do a better job of keeping patients out of the hospital than chains or mail order. What would happen tomorrow if everybody in your pharmacy decided that your product wasn't prescriptions, your product was healthy patients? What questions would you ask? How many blood pressures would you take? What would you do differently? Imagine now if everybody in the room did that we could save and revitalize independent pharmacy. Second, you need to establish goals around areas where you can be the best. One of my good friend's daughters was in an art contest this last weekend. 
I asked her if they were going to have an art show so that my wife and I could come and see her art. And she quickly said that they were, but she told me only the winners in each category were going to be shown in the show. I was like, that's not fair. What about second place? What about third place? What about the participation trophy? This is very non-millennial. But yes, it was true that, that based on space, they had made a decision that only the winners in each category would be shown. Many times this is true in business too, that only the first place position is the one that really matters because it's the first place position that gets you into the show, that gets you the extra attention, that has the competition chasing you whether than the other way around. When I was invited to develop a pharmacy management system, one of the things I was looking for in my career was a company whose goal was to create a product that was the best. Because that kind of thinking changes how you spend your profits. It changes how you allocate your resources. A mentality if you're first, if you're not first, you're last, changes everything. You need to establish goals where you can be the best, where you can inspire your team. Can you imagine those coaches in the big game saying, hey guys, you guys just go out there and, and it doesn't matter if you win or not, just do your best. Most of the time when people say I did my best, they're apologizing for not succeeding. Doing your best is an apology, it's, it's not a battle cry. Being the best is a battle cry. I believe there are places in your pharmacy, in your town, where you can be the best. Start there. Number three, you need to choose goals with measurable, verifiable, and include a plan. A wise man once said that a goal without a plan is a wish. There are a lot of bike trails in the Dallas-Fort Worth area where I live, and and even so, my wife and I continue to ride the same trails over and over again. So several weeks ago, we had a wish to ride somewhere new. Now, it took a plan and, and several milestones in, ter- in order to turn a wish into a goal, into an achievement. So we used uh, Google Maps Bike Trails View to kind of do our first research, and then we used all trails to look at at some user reviews and look at some pictures. We decided on a location about 30 minutes south of where we live. We loaded up the bikes, we put the address into Apple Maps, and we set off. We followed the directions through multiple stops and turns, and eventually we came upon our destination for a beautiful ride. Now, our goals in business are are way more complicated than finding a new place to ride your bike. They require way more milestones and a much more detailed plan. When when Pioneer X came out of beta about 12 years ago, I vocalized a goal to have 1,500 systems in five years. My boss at the time laughed at me almost instinctively and then feeling bad kind of patted me on the back and let me know it'd be okay if I didn't make that goal. We created over 15,000 mini goals. We created a, a detailed plan. We dashboarded it for everybody to see. When we got off of a daily goal, we adjusted our plan to get back on our goal, and we hit 1,500 systems in five years and two months. Where do you want to go? Do you have a goals with, with measurable and that are verifiable and, and have, have a plan to get there? Thank God you're here, right? Because PDS is a great place to start figuring that out. The need for goals reminds me of the enlightened discussion in Lewis and Carol's Alice in Wonderland between Alice and the Cheshire Cat. Could you, would you tell me please where I should go from here, said Alice. That depends a great deal on where you want to go, said the cat. It doesn't matter much where, said Alice. Then it doesn't matter which way you go, said the cat. My friends, today it matters which way you go. This is it. It is now or never. We win or lose it all tonight. 
Never before has that been more true. You need to set goals. You need to set goals around a mission. You need to set goals where you can be the best and you need to include a plan on how to get there. I'd like to leave you today with the words of of my personal hero, Zig Ziglar. As he said, what you get from achieving your goals is not near as important as what you become by achieving your goals. Independent pharmacy, PDS, I look forward to seeing what you will become.